welcome to Modeling Misadventures. And in today's video, we're on to part six of the Lancaster Bomber. Now, a quick look at the magazine. So the parts we're doing today is more in the cockpit, in particular the instrument console. Uh, the usual set of instructions. And then a few little articles. This one on a Lancaster FM 104, which is built in Canada. And then a little piece on the Thousand Bomber Raid. And then a bit of a change from the Lancaster Spitfire versus Hurricane. As in the last issue, I've got a little cardboard box. And inside, the parts are all in little plastic bags. Now, once again, these parts are stunning. You've got this instrument console here. Much of it pre-painted. Then the instrument dial panel. Beautiful. The throttle lever controls. Lovely little control yoke. Beautiful. So this first bit is called the whip aerial for some reason. That just goes in there like that. And next, the control yoke going on the control column. And it looks lovely, doesn't it? Now we're just going to put this behind that. And that is the compass. Right, next up, I've got to get these little levers into the slots on here they're very tiny going to be very fiddly i'm going to need some magnifying glasses now even getting these out is a bit tricky but i'm just using some fine tweezers forceps and bending them back like that and then push it through the other way and off it comes They look terrific. And next, we're going to put the throttle levers in. There we have it. The throttle controls at the top and the air screw speed controls at the bottom. And now we can fit this throttle unit onto the instrument panel. Lovely. Just put a little cover on the back of this throttle unit. Now this is one of the rudder pedals. I'm going to get fitted on the back of there like that. So that's the completed instrument panel, uh, throttle controls and rudder pedals. So. Let's have a look at the Haynes manual and see how accurate that is. And you can see that the dials and throttle controls and compass all seem to have been reproduced pretty faithfully here. Um, it's quite accurate. Um, but what I'm going to do with this before I actually fit it on is just a little bit of extra painting and dry brushing just to try and make it look a little bit more realistic. So I'm not an expert at weathering uh, at all, but I'm just going to try for this using a bit of this silver weathering powder on the instrument panel. That's giving it a pretty subtle weathering look. I'm just going to highlight some of these switches with some silver paint. And I've just done some very subtle weathering on that, but I think it looks better. And I've done the same on here. Just to make it look a little bit older. So now I can just glue them together. And that is the end of that stage. And that cockpit is looking very nice. 
Lovely. Well, that's day six complete. Loving this little cockpit. So, hope you enjoyed watching that. And I'll see you next time on Modelling Misadventures.